بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوکے سو آئی ہیو ریٹر مائی ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک دیٹ از دا کالم انسپیکشن سو وین ایور یو آر ورکنگ از اے سائٹ انسپیکٹر اور از اے کنسلٹنٹ انجینئر یو ول ہیو ٹو انسپیکٹ کالمس ڈیورنگ دا کنسٹرکشن پروسیس سو وٹ آر سم بیسک چیک لسٹ پوائنٹس دیٹ یو ڈو نیڈ ٹو کیپ این یور مائنڈ وین ایور یو آر انسپیکٹنگ اینی کالم سو آئی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اٹ ٹوڈے سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اٹ the different checklist points that are used for the inspection process of columns so uh, these, there are some basic checklist points okay uh, the first thing is uh, drying study this is the basic uh, rule or this is the basic point for all types of inspection whenever you are inspecting a beam columns or slabs or foundation whatever it is you will have to study the drying before inspecting that uh, that specific uh, member whatever it is because the reason is uh, because without study any uh, without studying any type of member you cannot explain that whatever it is uh, it uh, is in that uh, design okay so study the drying before the inspection process the number second is whenever you reach the site okay you have reached the site so the first thing is check quality of steel and how do we check the quality of steel there are the rules that is the uh, you will have to study the uh, tensile strength report the number second is the bend strength report and the number third in the last one is the appearance of the steel okay how does this looks if it is up not a blackish color then there is some sort of impurity in that simple uh, rebar okay so uh, there might be some rusted steels uh, that that are going to be used in the a columns so you are not going to allow it if, if uh, okay let me write it rust okay so if this is not available you cannot check the columns if this is not available you cannot check the columns if, and if, if there is some sort of rusting rusting uh, then you cannot check that uh, column you cannot allow the columns to be concrete powered okay so all these must be okay and you are going to allow the columns to be uh, or you can say the quality of steel is okay okay now uh, the second point uh, whenever you reach the column site is you will have to check the uh, height through a plumb bob okay plumb bob is some sort of uh, leveling uh, apparatus you can say it whenever you go to the site you will see it or if you would have seen it you have to check the plumb bob okay and a plumb bob uh, plumb uh, for plumbing process i will show it to you on site any day uh, but for plumbing phenomena or the plumb bob uh, phenomena this equality is checked that whether the difference between this top and this plumb bob at this point and at the end point is it equal or not if it is equal then it's okay and if it is not equal you have to make it equal on all sides okay this is uh, another uh, point that you have to keep in your mind whenever you are uh, uh, checking the quality or the columns inspection process okay the third important point is diameter of bar dia meter of bar you will have to study the drying and you will have to see that whether what type of steel is used in the uh, columns during design process and what type of steel or what dia steel has been used during the construction process both must be equal for uh, the re uh, for getting the results that have been mentioned during the design process so the diameter of the bar the number 4 is the spacing of stirrups spacing of stirrups means okay this is 
the distance between two stirrups and as i have explained in one of my lecture that at zone b or at lapping zone the spacing shall be less than at zone a are the normal zones so you will have to check this spacing one by one between different types of stirrups that is it equal or not it, it might be like uh, i will call it five inches or six inches or whatever has been given in the design so you will have to check the spacing between these two uh, all the stirrups between uh, the columns okay fifth, the rule number fifth is the splice length are the lap length what does lapping mean if if reinforcement is coming from the bottom story then we will have to lap it with uh, another reinforcement from the top story so the length of this bar is uh, is called is lap so you will have to check the lap normally this is given is 50d which is 50 into diameter of the bar that has been used in this lap so 50d is the uh, the rule for this splice so you will have to check the splice length that whether it is given as per the design drawing or not and this is an important point for all the structural engineer then the splice length shall be equal to as per the given drawing and it it must not be much more than the design drawing because this makes the structure over reinforced and we all know that over reinforced structures are not allowed during the construction phenomena the number six and the last position uh, the last question is the hook length do you know what is hook a hook is the length of the ties this this is what we call the hook okay so this hook length shall be equal to the hook length that is given in the aci code or as per the structural engineers inspection okay and this is important uh, specifically for the columns having diameter more than three feet if the column diameter is more than three feet then that means that a huge amount of load is going to be applied over that columns and there are much chances of bursting phenomena uh, buckling phenomena of the column so to control that bursting phenomena means a column that has been loaded from the top just fails in this manner okay this is the bursting phenomena so uh, to stop this we use these lateral ties and during the process of bursting these hooks works okay so you'll have to keep this uh, this work uh, these 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 hooks length equal to the designer instructions okay it must not be less than that so uh, these were some of the important point one one last point that is important is the concrete cover okay cc concrete cover is also an important phenomena uh, for con equal concrete cover shall be on both sides of the column so uh, concrete cover uh, must be checked and and for the con uh, okay concrete cover we use the concrete spacers i will show it to you on construction side that what is concrete spacers but concrete spacer are used for uh, on the column sides here somewhat like this so that on both sides equal spacing might be uh, achieved for the reinforcement so that it might not get rusted and the bond strength and all those things so concrete cover is also checked so these were some of the basic rules for the column inspection process uh, i hope you would have learned and i will show it to you on site as well whenever i am going to uh, check the my construction site i will show it to you that now how will i apply all the knowledge that i do have i hope you would have learned something please don't forget to comment your experience or the points that do need to be inspected during uh, the columns inspection process thank you very much see you in another video Allah Hafiz